everybody. Welcome replay viewers. Welcome live viewers. Thanks guys for joining me again today to work on cleaning our routine for a sweet 16. As we are all tuning in here. Hi. I'm a little sleep deprived still. Um, <laughs> this is going to be a short, quick little scope because I have a ton of stuff to do to make up for not being around yesterday. But I just wanted to check in with everybody and make sure you're still working on cleaning your routine for a sweet 16. For anybody that's new here today and doesn't know what's going on, you can visit my website, beautyanimation.com, and you'll see that we have some posts there from the last few days that say clean your routine for a sweet 16. And what it is, is, I just started a challenge to do something new each day towards the end of the year instead of waiting till the new year to decide, oh, New Year's resolutions, let's do something new, let's change our lives. Change your lives daily. You have that opportunity. As long as you're alive, you can make changes towards the betterment of yourself and those around you. So today for cleaning our routine is the one that everybody always says they're going to do for New Year's. It's the biggest resolution that no one follows through with because it's so hard to keep up with it if you try to do it all at once, and that's exercise. I want you guys to exercise more or better if you're already exercising. One of the things that you can do if you're doing nothing, if you're doing nothing at all right now, I suggest you start walking at least 30 minutes a day. That should be more than enough. If you can get that in, at least walk for 30 minutes a day. If you can get one of those little step counters, if you have an iPhone or something like that, it will keep track of your steps for you. You need to get in those 5,000 steps a day, guys. This will change so much for you. It's amazing what exercise, sleep, and eating right can do for your body. Um, I know a lot of us want to get healthier, want to lose weight, all these different things. We have all these goals and ideas, and then when we try to tackle it all, it's just way too much. It's overwhelming. So if you can start with something as simple as just walking 30 minutes a day, trust me, it's the way to get to go. Even for me, I'm, I'm not that big of a person. I'm a tiny little girl. If you guys meet me in person, you'll be like, oh my God, you're a peanut. But um, <laughs> I even have those few extra pounds that I want to get, out, get rid of. And I tried all kinds of workouts, all kinds of exercises, and it never seemed to want to go away. Finally, I started doing more and more research, which I've always been doing research on health and wellness and fitness, and I found out I just wasn't getting in enough movement. Even though I was doing a 30-minute workout or whatever else I may have been doing, those 5,000 steps a day, if you can get those in, those will be life-changing. As a stay-at-home mom, my house isn't that big, so I'm not walking around my house and getting in 5,000 5, steps a day just cooking and cleaning and working. So I get up every morning now and I get on the treadmill and I do maybe 15 minutes on the treadmill and then I go do my workout, do my lifting or whatever. And then maybe I'll hop back on for another 30 minutes if I can. Everybody doesn't have a treadmill and a workout um, facility at their home or nearby. I understand that, but we all have feet. We can all get out there and walk at least and get those 5,000 steps in a day. So I challenge you guys to at least get in your 5,000 steps. If you can't do that... Um, I don't know, try doing some crunches, try doing some jumping jacks, do some squats if you can in between your work shift or something at your desk every 30 minutes or an hour, challenge yourself to stand up and just do five or 10 squats, get your body moving. Um, there's a lot of, what do you call it? Um, things that are coming out right now showing that a lot of our problems is that we live such a sedentary life and we are sitting at our computers for hours and hours on day. If you can Set yourself a timer, get up maybe every half hour or an hour and move around, move around the office, move around your house, go get a glass of water, um, go talk to someone, do some squats, do some jumping jacks, do something, do some leg lifts, I don't know, um, just get active. And so that is our challenge today, to get active, basically. We call it exercise, but get more active, get your body out there, get moving, um, Get that heart rate going so that you can have a healthier life. The longer you take care of yourself, the longer you get to live, guys. You know that, right? So I'll go ahead and post some more information on my blog later on today about some different tips that you can use to get active if you aren't already active, to get more active if you are already active, um, and to just hone in on the exercise and the benefits of exercise and getting out there and doing what you guys need to do to be healthy. Love you guys. You're all beautiful. Thank you for visiting my uh, Periscope again today. If no one's told you that already today, definitely love you guys. Thank you for coming in here, and we'll see you later. You learn more. You grow more. You love more. You give more. You share more.
shop safer, guys. Be healthy. Be wise. We'll see you later. Again, check out the website, Beauty and a Mission, for more details on our challenge. Hopefully you guys are using the hashtag out there, BAMS16, as you're posting your challenge pictures and videos and periscopes of whatever you're doing for each day. If you didn't start on day one, that's fine. You can start today and start posting what day you're on and what you're doing and join in with us. You can join in starting today with the exercise one if you like. So I'm going to get out of here. I have a lot of errands to run. So love you guys. Bye-bye. What if I can close my thing today? It's not agreeing with me.